That time again, guys. Confess your sins. I end up becoming the main character of every campaign I'm in, because it feels like I'm the only one who gives a shit and actually role plays. Of course this is a confession thread, so by me saying that, what I'm really saying is that I'm probably an obnoxious spotlight hogging jackass who ruins the game with cringy RP P <laughs> I've got a bad one. Years ago, well over a decade now, I went through a kleptomaniac phase. There were reasons I'm not going to get into them. It's personal and doesn't excuse my actions. I would steal small minis at my local games workshop, or spare bits. At least that's how it started, but things soon got worse. I stole spruce, a blister pack, etc. It didn't last, thankfully, and I look back now with disgust. These days I give as much as I can do to the community, running events, giving newbies help, and spare stuff I have, essentially giving as much as I can to the community. But I still can't escape the shame of knowing what I did, and I still hate myself for it. As I said, there were reasons, but nothing excuses it. Well, that's good. He's trying to give back. He's trying to you give know, back, like, and he's uh, seen his wrongs. And obviously, the guy had. Yeah, he must have had something going on. Like the way I look at it, it is, you know, like I, it is a shitty thing to do. But at least he f- he, he righted his wrongs. Yeah, there there is something about thieving, though. Let's be serious. Thieving is just so fucking trumpy. I it's yeah. it's gen it's genuinely so trumpy. Mm, one of like, the only things I've ever oh. stolen in my life. I was five years old, and you know the pick and mixes. Yeah. I went and shoved sweets into my pockets <laughs> <laughs> and I ran, I came outside with my mum and I, I was eating all these sweets and my mum was like where did you get them and I said uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well you know what I mean at that age you don't really have concepts of it yeah. I'll tell you okay I'll tell you what guys I'll tell you the worst one that I ever thing that I ever stole um, me and my mate I was 13 he was 12 and we stole a bottle of whiskey off my mum and I swear to god that was the worst decision I ever made in my life you've never touched I, 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 I can't drink I can drink vodka no sweat but see whiskey <laughs> actually smell I, mu- I must have been thrown up for three days solid it was genuinely the worst thing I've ever done what is the worst thing what, what, like, not even people help but what's the worst thing you've ever stolen and you think back it's like what was I doing I know like why, why did I do that, why was that a thing? Yeah. You know? I was a young DM, still in the DM versus player mindset. I had a fantastic role player playing his first character, a paladin. I was eager to abuse his paladin's code to screw him over and force him to let a villain play him repeatedly by feigning surrender, because neither of us properly understood the oath. After his character died ignobly, he started rolling evil characters and immediately becoming that guy. He's reformed now, and we've both grown, but holy fuck, I was a toxic DM. I feel like uh, this is almost referring to you. Remember that horrible meme that was like a thing a while back about like, you know, oh, I used to be a nice guy until a girl broke my heart. (laughs) You know all that. Remember that cringe? You guys remember that cringe? Well, maybe this is the same thing, but for like that guy, maybe behind every that guy, there was a toxic DM that broke his rope in immersion. (laughs) You know, oh, you you kind of get what I'm saying? I don't know. At least the DM has reformed and he realised how toxic he was, has it? So look, this was just this is just straight up inexperience. You know what I it's mean? It's growth. It's, it's personal growth, growth guys. Yeah, <laughs> like there's no need to there's no need to confess that. Like you know, I think we've all done things like that before. Yeah, my hate for elves. I'm with you, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Worsened by swarms of people who only rolled the pointy-eared fucks so they could feel special. Got to the point where I decided to inflict real, actual racism on them. <laughs> <laughs> So I made an old southern doctor archetyped, who was really, actually racist. <laughs> Not the pole or stormfront view of racism where they're holding the line, nor the tumbler view of racism where they're a card who's secretly envious. A real, honest to god racist. A bitter old man set in his ways and convinced that elf was inferior to man. And if they were to coexist, the elf would need to either leave or accept their place beneath man. On five separate occasions, I broke elf players, purely by refusing to tell them how cool and special they were. Three of those were sworn pacifists who later tried to assassinate me. <laughs> hey, say it all, like, you know, them players deserve to be broken. Knife ear fucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, like, genuinely, don't get me wrong, the hatred for elf archetype is kind of overdone at this point. Mm-hmm. 
but it depends on the set and if I like elves or not. Like I love elves in 40k. I love my dark elder. I love my elder. Mm -hmm. I love the same in dark elves and high elves and warmer fantasy. I don't like them in Wizards of the Coast shit. No. I don't like them in Fae or anything like that. No, neither It's I. very hard to find elves. I think they... Decent well, no, elves? I like, I like Word of the Ring elves. I like Middle Earth elves. Middle Earth be, elves are Yeah, they're, okay. they're all right. But that's about it. Yeah. It depends on the setting for me, guys. So it does. It really depends on the setting. If I think elves are cool or not. I'm going to be playing a cat boy. Half tabaxi. Eventually. It's kind of weird. But I honestly really like the idea I have. Half breed son between a paladin human and another race. What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he fucked the cat girl. Oh, oh don't he fell for the cat girl? Don't mean, not he the fell cat girl. for the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I get yeah. it, Megan. Please stop. <laughs> the mother being from a travelling band of gypsy merchants, just using half the backsy gypsies, steal your heart and wallet. <laughs> I don't know what other race to use when I feel like. Nah, maybe I shouldn't. Half elves are accepted. Half orcs stat wise go against everything I want to build. Tieflings, I don't wanna. We already have an Asimar. Tabaxi sounds like it could work, and get that whole gypsy feeling with how they're in our game's lore. A half gypsy child trying to make it in a city that doesn't really care for him, taking up his father's sword. And I like that image, that cat girl merchant boss dressed like a red mage. What? <sighs> With the confidence to match as her natural charm and sly words drain your wallet. <sighs> like, you know what he's thinking of? He's thinking of cat girl Esmeralda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh, oh, what's that? Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Sure, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that, essentially. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like the guy just really wants to play a cat boy. All right. Uh -huh. Let him live his fantasy. Like, like he, he's as long as it doesn't go any further. He's made up a lot of excuses. <laughs> it's like, oh no, this is why I'm going to do it. Not because it's actually like a fetish bait or anything. <laughs> trust me, guys. Trust me. Don't worry. We trust you. It's cool. You can you can play your house. We're not backseat. judging you. It's We're, fine. Yeah. <laughs> And you definitely haven't gotten any smut about a paladin fucking a cat girl. <laughs> that was definitely never put in. That was never on the that, table. That, that, that's fine, never. though. Don't worry. We believe you. That's, 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 that's cool. That's cool. I often blatantly steal ideas and character concepts from media because I'm not confident in myself. I cram it into the game using some excuse from the settings info dump. However, everyone at the table thinks they're awesome because I just got so good at making shit up while having them adapt to both the story and their interactions with the other PCs. My originality is a lie. I literally took Bendy, made a tiefling in his image, and said he had a connection to Jubiax the Slime Lord. I threw in some roaring 20s New Yorker for spice. We've been playing ever since the pandemic began, and there's a literal novel worth of backstory and details everyone added to him. I'm not as original as they think. I'm just good at improvising, your holiness. Look, I, I don't I, find I, that bad at all. Like I do this honestly, like you know, play like this. Right, so my last character. If it's a good character and it yeah. works and everybody's enjoying <laughs> it, who gives a fuck? I know exactly. Like you know, like at the minute I'm playing a wizard, there may as well be a last Putin knockoff. <laughs> um, the the character before that, well, I'm still currently playing Gobby, which may as well be a stand-in for Gollum whenever I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> the character before that again was uh, a dwarf. Paladin, which was a knockoff of Ian Peasley, the um, <laughs> what would be the preacher of from Northern Ireland. Ireland. Um, some men would call him a terrorist, but other people would call him a, a saint. <laughs> a saint, yeah. Also, he does have a cult personality where we are. And then the character before that was just a North FC main. Yeah, it was. It was really big fun. Baza. Big Big Fat Baza, the Goliath fighter. Yeah. It was a North lot of fun FC. though. North FC, who conquered all the chippies. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoyed it. But no, like, you know, like, I got no leg to stand on when it comes to this type of shit. I just kinda, I'm not that original when no. I come with, like, nobody do that. <laughs> Like I just adapt shit from elsewhere yeah, and like so you know, yeah. just kinda make it work in the setting. Or to be I, honest, it's mostly like these stories where I get my ideas. Yeah, well. I do that as well. Or you know what I feel like? You know like a child, you know like the wee block where you put like the square into the square and the circle into the circle. <laughs> yes. But instead it's the circle going in the square and I just fucking Smash bang it, it <laughs> bang it in just to make sure it works. And that's kinda what it comes out like. <laughs> We're not that bad though, are we? Maybe, I don't know, maybe we should be the ones begging forgiveness. <laughs> Sorry guys, next post, well. <laughs> 
Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. The face when you want to play video games, but you just keep opening battle scribe instead. <laughs> I, I, know, I know the pain. Honestly, you know, that was that was honestly the worst thing that would happen to me, and that's how I'd end up buying new armies. I know. Because I'd, I'd just be you fucking You'd just up. sit in battle scribe for hours and I'd be hours like, oh, this thing's a guy called, this is a guy called army. Goes, and and then wait. next minute, hello, Amazon Prime. <laughs> yeah. I would totally play an ERP game, but I also wouldn't want to play with losers like me. And that's who would be playing those games. <laughs> Sadly true, let's be serious. <laughs> like, at least he's being sweet up with himself, like, like I would, but the people that I'm going to be sitting wanking, like, you know, over Discord to, you just know fine lately, they're just uh, as deranged and perverted as, as me, me. So <laughs> yeah. it's just not going to work, sorry guys, you know? I secretly beat off to my players' characters in increasingly problematic magical situations. <laughs> I never let it feed into the game. But I don't plan on stopping. <laughs> how does this start? How does this start? How does this come about? I don't like, know. how do you. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yes, do it. Do it. <laughs> Fireball! <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. Teal, do you do this to us? <laughs> Teal, is this you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Teal. It's okay. I love big, teeny, sexy vampires, and I can't help putting at least one in every game I run. Well, you see, this is a perfect time Segway. for a, a fucking promo! You like some big titties, boy? <laughs> Look, we got them big-ass fat titties on this lovely vampire right here. Titties! Look, just, just, just saying, like, you know what helps us out a lot? It's up for sale, it's in stock, go there you go, go check it out. While there are a lot of reasons I prefer to GM over being a player, like to world build in my free time, don't even have the attention span to stick to any one character for too long, etc. The absolute biggest reason I get uncomfortable handing over the reins, even when in the grips of a burnout, is because I'm terrified of getting stuck with a problem player and not being in a position to do anything about it, and have a GM that lacks the mental fortitude to deal with them themselves, or worse, being stuck with a problem GM. I know I can handle a problem player either by reining in the behaviour or just kicking the little bastard. But I just get nervous that another GM won't be able to. I realise this is a trust issue, but I can't help feeling that way. It's I get right. it. I, I do, I get it. I get it. But if you're like, sure used to be in a GM as well. Say, oh my god, please, what happens if we get mentals in? Yeah. Oh my god. If you're oh. stuck with that one player who's just constant. I know. But you can link, you can really, like, it's... And especially because you're so used to the GM, yeah. if you end up saying something to that player or whatever, then you're considered that guy, the oh, group. I know, exactly. I can get... Like, it depends on the... Messy. It depends on how well you know the people, though. You know what I mean? Like, that's the way I view it. Yeah. It really is. It comes down to how I much... You, how well you know these people. Yeah. If you know these people a very long time, if they're Lando's off the internet that you've only ever spoken to, like, you know... You've, a handful you've, of times. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it does get messy. Yeah. But, like, you know, like this always goes back to the argument of you can deal with one problem player, but you can't really deal with a problem DM. Yeah. It's very difficult. So that's why if you got a good DM, you should go out of your way and suck his dick for Christmas this year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Played some guy's homebrew. Troll fighter. Talking with a merchant. Guy is being as combative as possible without actually telling me to fuck off. Finally snap and tell him I'm going to eat him if he doesn't quit his shit. Guards get called, derail the game for 30 minutes, arguing about how they're both being racist. I got out of it unharmed, and basically sulked for most of the rest of the game, only doing stuff when addressed or in combat. I quit not long after because I thought I was being that guy. No, you know what that is, at least to me. You know, there's nothing worse. I think this is one of the like, the worst traits of some DMs, is whenever they put NPCs in, and all the NPCs are extremely mean and condescending to the players at all times. Yeah. I enjoy it. Like, I like nice. Like, I think this is why Garbu... Garbu, Garbu loves his waifu bait. 
Like, <laughs> Garbo letters just games with wifey, babe. Like, let's be serious. And I know you're fucking watching Garbo, and don't you try to tell me. I'm gonna get a message from yeah. him later going, why, why me? <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you know what's good? You love putting in your wifey, bait into all your games, you know what I mean? And you just can't help it. But, you know, I'd, I'd much rather that than someone that's put it in, like, you know. Mean and nasty, nasty NPCs and for like, no reason. I know. Just to be there. I know. And, like, you know, let's be honest with you, if you're the player. Don't tempt them to fucking <laughs> start murdering the fucking townsfolk because you know it's only a matter of time. You know what I mean? What? Don't give me that look. Comes from the fucking guy who makes a deal with a literal lich. Look, it was either that or we're all gonna die and we don't have time to talk so about So you this. sell your soul and everyone else's soul to a fucking lich like, without, like, without our consent? Like, you didn't fucking pipe up. Because it was a fucking lich! <laughs> well, then, there you go then, you would have died then, wouldn't you? Exactly. Look, guys, it, it, it's complicated. I I st- I'm still not going to forgive him. <laughs> I don't know if we can explain it here now, but <laughs> maybe we'll make a video talking about it at some stage. It's an interesting <laughs> arc at the moment. I read Warhammer books to my little brother when he waits for the school bus. That's very that sweet. That is so cute. That is very sweet. You're doing a good job. Good job, big brother. Yeah. I bought a shitload of dark Eldar stuff, and I realized I don't like to assemble or paint them. Too tiny pieces, too much detail, I'm horrible at painting pale skin and faces. And I can't decide on a colour scheme, and I probably will get raffle stomped. Oh. Ugh, raffle stomped by Primaris anyway. Should have bought nids and splashed them with purple contrast. So, I'm first of all going to say, you're not forgiven for saying Gawful Stomped, alright? No. You see, you can't get forgiven That's for that. That's your sin for today. That is your sin. Take it away. <laughs> Five Hail Marys. <laughs> yeah. But no, no, like, I'm a Dark Eldar player personally. I get it. The kits and assembly are a bit more intricate. Very tricky. They are a bit more intricate than other mm-hmm. uh, box sets, so I get that. Also, I did repaint my Dark Eldar army. I had it one complete scheme, and it was a very big army, and then. After about a year, I was like, I really can't stand this pink co- scheme anymore. So I went ahead and repainted <laughs> the entire. And I and I mean, I must have like close to like maybe thirty thousand points of dark Eldar. I would say you have more. I would say it was possibly more. I would say you have like, more. You know, it's, a, it's an ungodly amount of dark Eldar. You you've only got some of them sitting out here, and yeah. you have the rest put away. Like there's so I've, fucking I've many. Got, like I've just got a lot of dark Eldar, but look, like, I like them. And like you know, like don't worry about getting fuck. Like if you're worried about getting your head kicked in playing dark Eldar, you're not playing them like anyway. <laughs> because like you know, that's the thing. Because not many people play dark Eldar. Ex- the where I am, like I was the only dark out up there. So normally people don't know what they're like getting into. You yeah. know what I mean? So like you know, you can bring stuff out, and they're like, "Wow, what the fuck's this?" But they because they don't know about they it. It's, know. it's new to them. Yeah. You know. So once you actually get the hang of playing against space planes, it's actually not that difficult. Mm. To be honest with you, I would recommend them. Or, I really enjoyed them. Or just do what this guy said underneath him. What? Just buy nids and splash the dark elder bits in as trophies. <laughs> yeah, that could work too. Honestly, yeah. yeah like if you really prefer. Uh, Tyranids, go play Tyranids. Let's be serious. I actually type fuck off Neckbeardia so that they may find threads and do voiceovers for them for no other reason than because I'm too lazy to scroll through all the boring posts to find the interesting ones. <laughs> I knew it was a one guy. I knew it I, I knew it's been the one <laughs> How that fucking, fucking somebody. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only like a couple of people that do it, you know what yeah. I mean? Congrats on making it into their next confession video faggot. <laughs> well, you got into it too. Well. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? Being acknowledged by people with large followings is the only thing that gives my life meaning nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> this, is too, this, is, this is too matter for my liking. <laughs> this is really too matter for my liking. We've hit new levels. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, we did a confession for that not that long ago, but I couldn't help myself. I love doing the confession videos. They're one of my, yeah. they're one of my favorite highlights that I really enjoy. Yeah, and um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys end up finding them because you know we always do them. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But I enjoy them. I think yeah, they're actually really I fun. Them. I like I can't help myself. Look, it's Christmas. Fuck you guys. I'll do what I want. It's my channel. <laughs> <laughs> all right, D- don't complain to me. All right, it's like oh, you just did one like two. Don't weeks care. Ago. Like I like them. It's Christmas time. Uh, just so you guys know as well, we're gonna be like kind of like on and Have off. Having just a little we're not Christmas gonna- break. Right yeah. Again, so we might get a video, might not. It'll be less videos um, than usual. Um, yeah, but because we need breaks too, and we want to have a wee Christmas break with our families and stuff. So yeah, well, be nice. if we can, we'll, we'll see what happens, <laughs> you know. But like, we'll be back in January, going like all right. Yeah. And uh, Megan's channel is going to be seeing a bit of a yes. rebirth, so that'll be nice. Yes, finally, because I actually have 
cut my hours down in work and I'm going to focus a wee bit more on YouTube and then it means it'll give me more time as well to focus on my channel. Yeah, so we'll see how that turns mm -hmm. out. I think it'll work out quite nicely though. But if this is the last video... No, it's not. this isn't going to be the last video for the year. No, we'll st we'll no not for the year. Before yeah. Christmas? Maybe, maybe. I'm not too sure. We'll We're not too sure, couple. but if it is, have a lovely Christmas. Yeah. Hope everyone, Santa brings a sack and empties it all over Your you and face. you get everything that you want like you're, you're herpes not, you're, and AIDS you will not be forgiven for Santa <laughs> emptying a sack all over your face Jesus is watching guys well, we have a lovely Christmas hope everyone stays healthy and happy yeah. um, it's been a mad year like, mad year I'm sure a lot of people can't wait for it to end but it's just it's, like it's just going to start all over <laughs> I again know. I know. it's going to be 2020 part 2 you know, 2020 like, part 2 2 electric book <laughs> oh my god but no look guys I hope you enjoyed this one I know it's I know we've only done one recently but like, but sure you know how it is check out the website check out the minis um, go no, ahead subscribe hit the bell so you get notified every time we post and we'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>